You may have heard this, is it ever all right to lose the deep squat? Well, I'm going to argue now that the deep squat is primarily governed by genetics. The shallow hip sockets are genetic and predispose hip dysplasia, but they also facilitate a deep squat. The highest rate of hip dysplasia in the world is in Poland. It may not surprise you that the great Olympic lifters come from Poland, Bulgaria, Ukraine. It's called the Dalmatian hip if you're a hip surgeon. And they sure as hell don't come from Scotland. Because if you look at the Celtic populations, they have very deep hip sockets. Now, don't go quoting me saying, oh, you're a Scot and you can't lift off the ground. <laughs> There's a huge biological variation. But just let me finish this story. So, so the deep sockets are a great advantage for walking, standing power, rotational power. But they are terrible at producing power at the bottom of the deep squat. Years ago, when I was called as an expert witness on two different murder cases, one of my scientific colleagues was a forensic anthropologist, and she was an expert in identifying the origin of the body with no hair or no skin, say it had all been burned off. And she would show me features of the shoulders, the spine, of the hips, and she knew where they came from in the world. And I would look at that, and my eye right away went to function. You know, you look at that hip on the left, that hip will not play in the NBA that's dominated by a lateral shuffle. That hip won't lateral shuffle. It might be a sagittal plane mover. You look where I've aligned the femoral condyle at the knee here, and the variation, this person may very well be able to squat wide and get deep as a power lifter. The sumo squat style might perfectly fit that person, but it will kill the person on the left. They're going to have an awfully ugly squat. Let's align the pelvic bowls, and you see that in this particular, oh, it, it, I, I can tell you where that came from in the world but you can see the acetabulums. They're arranged to squat deep and allow the rotation out the front. But I can probably tell you that that will not be an Olympic sprinter where the power is required out the extensor range. We can see in the sagittal plane as well, a much shallower hip socket. There was a paper I read coming here on the airplane I think it was Journal of Orthopedic Research, or maybe it was Bone and Joint Surgery, how the roof of the acetabulum, common in the Celts and, and the French populations, now have the highest rate of femoral impingement following yoga. My point in all of this is the failure of an individual you're working with to deep squat, in many cases, cannot be corrected. 